the brain of Albert Einstein has been a subject of much research and speculation. Albert Einstein's brain was removed within seven and a half hours of his death. His brain has attracted attention because of his reputation as one of the foremost geniuses of the 20th century. Einstein's autopsy was conducted in the lab of Thomas Charles Harvey. Einstein didn't want his brain or body to be studied, but Harvey took the brain anyway, without permission from Einstein or his family. Shortly after Einstein's death in 1955, Harvey removed and took the brain to a lab at the University of Pennsylvania, where he dissected it into several pieces. Some of the pieces he kept to himself, while others were given to leading pathologists. He claimed he hoped that cytoarchitectonics, the study of brain cells under a microscope, would reveal useful information. Harvey injected 50% formalin through the internal carotid arteries and afterwards suspended the intact brain in 10% formalin. Harvey photographed the brain from many angles. He then dissected it into about 240 blocks and encased the segments in a plastic-like material called collodion. Roger Clark's 1979 biography of Einstein states, he had insisted that his brain should be used for research and that he be committed, but more recent research has suggested that this may not be true at all and that the brain was removed and preserved without the permission of either Einstein or his close relatives. Hans Albert Einstein, the physicist elder son, endorsed the removal after the event but insisted that his father's brain should be used only for research to be published in scientific journals of high standing. In 1978, Einstein's brain was rediscovered in Harvey's possession by journalist Stephen Levy. In 2010, Harvey's heirs transferred all of his holdings, constituting the remainings of Einstein's brain to the National Museum of Health and Medicine, including 14 photographs of the whole brain, which is now in fragments. More recently, 46 small portions of Einstein's brain were occurred by the Mater Museum in Philadelphia. In 2013, these thin slices Mounted on microscope slides went to exhibit in the museum's permanent galleries.